is up guys? I am here today because it is Mother's Day weekend. I kind of wanted to do um, a pregnancy kind of mothers related video for you and for my first video ever I thought this was a good one. Um, I have finally, finally, finally decided what to pack in my labour and delivery bag which is right here <laughs> um, so we can kind of pack it together and I can kind of show you. I love to watch these videos, I'm not sure if other people do. Um, so it's just something I thought that would be fun. Um, I do have my bag right here. Please excuse the fact of my green smoothie. I am just having some lunch. Um, so this bag is Vase, the brand by Shane Mitchell. I believe it still has the tag on it and everything. It is the mini weekend uh, travel bag. It's a very large bag. Um, I got it on the sale. I love the fact that it comes with the top part and the main part. Uh, for those who don't know Shay Mitchell, she was on Pretty Little Liars and she just recently had a baby too, so I kind of thought, perfect. So yeah, I guess we will jump right in. If I do sound out of breath, I'm sorry, I'm 34 weeks pregnant. Getting words out sometimes is very hard. Um, so in the bottom part, of course, I know that's mainly for shoes. But let me show you, let me unzip it. Oh. I've actually, and the great thing about the bottom part of this is you can unzip it and take it off and just keep the top part as a bag. But I will be packing, or I have packed, a towel. Um, I've actually read reviews on my hospital and they say the towels are like this big. I'm a person that once I jump out of the shower, I just want to wrap up in a big fuzzy towel and kind of sit there for a little bit. So I thought, why not bring my own? And it is black, which I know is a preferred color during these crazy times. So jumping into the main bit, I guess I'll start with what toiletries I'm bringing. I am not taking any makeup, hair straighteners, hair dryer. I won't have time. I also want this time to be more of a natural time for myself. So as of products, I'm not taking a whole lot. I'm taking a toothbrush, which I just got from the travel section of Target that has toothpaste. I don't use a fancy toothbrush, so I wasn't super concerned. I'm taking a rose water body wash. I love the smell of anything rose water, so this was fantastic. Love that I found that. My mini version of my shampoo and conditioner, really glad I found the mini version of the one I use. My hair is very dry and blonde and it just gets angry if I try to use different products. Again, I'm not taking makeup with me, but I am taking a cleanser because I don't know when I'm going to go into labour and I could already have a ton of makeup on, you know, and also I just like to wash my face and of course I will take my facial moisturiser, but I am still using it right now, so I don't want to pack it already. So that's that on toiletries, apart from deodorant. Wish I could be one of those girls that sit there and go, I use natural deodorant. I stink. I have no shame in admitting my BO game. I stink and I will use deodorant. Um, and I can only imagine how much I'm gonna stink after labor. So I'm gonna leave that out because obviously I still use it, but it's something I will take. Um, and then dry shampoo as well, in case I don't feel like showering. This one is the Beach Babe Texturizing Dry Shampoo. I just reviewed this not reviewed it, I just got it and put it on my Target haul on the blog. Um, it's something I'm actually really loving. I didn't think I would because it was texturizing, but it's not weighing my hair down. It's still allowing my curls and it doesn't really mess with my hair that much or feel gross, which I love. Um, I will be taking a hair scrunchie as well because I'm the type of person that just loves to choke my hair on top of my head and call it a day. Um, as for pads, I will be taking some of my own pads. I'm very lucky in the hospital I'm in that they'll provide the adult diapers and pads um, and the peri bottle, but sometimes I like to take my own because you never know if you're gonna be sensitive to a product or not. Um, I am taking the Earth Mammal Herbal Prenal Spray. A lot of YouTube videos that I watched recommended this, said this was a lifesaver. 
This is my first labour ever, so I don't know how much of a lifesaver this is going to be. Uh, so I will definitely let you guys know afterwards. Uh, I will be taking my breast pump. Obviously, during this time, I haven't been able to go out and get a breast pump because of coronavirus. And the special one I want isn't in Target or anywhere like that. So I have ordered it and it is on its way. So with that, I have ordered the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter also, which smells like chocolate. And it doubles as a lip balm, which I hear you really need. So I'm very glad that I have that. Um, so that's kind of it toiletry wise. As for underwear, I a lot of this clothes wise stuff is from Target and Amazon. Amazon has been a godsend, A, because it's super cheap, B, because it's super fast to get here, and C, because I guess a lot of women have requested a lot of stuff on there, so it has it all. Um, so these underwear that I'm taking, these are actual specific postpartum underwear. They have the band in case you have a C-section. They're cotton, they're breathable, and they're big enough for pads. They are your standard Bridget Jones underwear. They come in a pack of four, very cheap, very doable. I'm only taking two because I don't plan on staying in the hospital that long. With that as well, I did get maternity bras from Amazon. They came in a pack of two, super cute colors. I got baby blue and pink. Um, they're really comfortable. They actually came with a bra extender and they have a thick back, which I really like. And not a high back, so I can still wear cute dresses. Mm -hmm which I've really liked. I am also packing two pairs of socks. Um, my hospital was kind of weird about bringing your own socks into labor, but I wanted to pack some cute fuzzy socks for afterwards. So they're these. These are Bath & Body Works alloy infused fuzzy socks and also compression socks. My doctor recommended these to me because I am very swollen at the moment. And she said afterwards, I'm going to be super swollen still, especially because they're going to be pumping me with an IV during labor. And I'm probably going to need this because I will still be swollen. As for my going home outfit, I have these very cute sore wet pants from Target. They are very lightweight and I got them two sizes too big. The reason is, is because you are still swollen afterwards. You do still look pregnant. That's something I didn't know. So I'm normally a size small and I got a large. So I just wanted something comfy and cozy to go home in. So I'm very excited about that. With that, I am bringing a postpartum shirt. I got this at Target actually. It was in labeled postpartum and it comes with this stretchy yoga pant material and it's just super tight, starts compressing your stomach back in. Again, because you're still going to look pregnant, but it is also nursing friendly, which I loved and double protected. So I don't have to wear a bra, which I also love. So I'm taking that. I am taking just a spare Lululemon shirt. It's lightweight, thin. I am giving birth in summer. So in case I didn't want a super tight shirt to wear, I had something extra. Uh... Pajama-wise, I just got a cute pajama set from Target. Shorts with a long sleeve shirt. I know hospitals can be quite cold, but again, my hormones are probably gonna be all over the shop. So I just wanted something cozy. I am not sure why I didn't get nursing friendly pajamas, but I think I just wanted to feel more human. Um, I honestly probably during this time will just wear the pajama shorts. Um, a maternity bra and this robe that I got from Amazon. It was $20. It's my favorite color. It's very thin. It's a summer robe. Something easy, something new. Again, all these clothes are pretty new. I just washed them. I don't want to wear them yet. There's something about putting new clothes on for the first time and it just feels good. So, I mean, pretty much that's it for clothes wise, apart from my hospital gown. Now, I asked about this at the hospital tour. Definitely something you should ask. If you can bring your own gown, there's something about wearing those hospital gowns. They're scratchy, they feel weird. I just wanted something soft, lightweight. That was my own that smelled like home. I also like the fact that it buttons all the way down the back. 
So I really liked that because the hospital gowns exposed you. It had buttons in the front. It was blue because I am having a boy. So I, it was just something of my own. It was only $25 on Amazon, so I'm not going to be too upset if it gets ruined or anything like that. So I'm obviously packing that and leaving that at the top. Shoes wise, um, I do have fat feet. So I am just going to be wearing sandals into labor because that's all I can fit into. And I am taking some fuzzy slides with me. These were only $13 on Amazon. Just something to pop on, walk around the hospital in. Um, again, I don't mind if anything gets on them because of how cheap they are. Uh, as for everything else, I mean, I will be taking a water bottle because I want something available and ready to me just in case I'm like, I'm so thirsty and they bring you in cups in and out of the hospital room and it just turns into a pain in the ass. I will be taking my super, super long phone cord and my charging pack because your bed could be away from the wall where you plug in. And obviously that will be very annoying, especially during this time. I want to stay connected to family and friends. Um, and I think I'm going to take my laptop for Netflix. But I guess that's just about it. Of course, if I have forgotten anything, please feel free to let me know. If you think I'm packing something that I shouldn't, feel free to let me know. I am really, really excited about this. I hope you all have a wonderful Mother's Day weekend. Thank you all for watching and cheers.